Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of my satisfactory let's play series and today we are looking to do a few cool things uh, we've unlocked a few new items like this uh, bacon or well unlock we found a few new items uh, so we also do want to look in the ma'am because we are looking to maybe upgrade a few things unlock some new gadgets I was looking at the iron a second ago and I realized that we are going too slow in the collection this is too close let's go back the um so this that uh, constructor only holds like 200 I think so I was just not collecting it in time but yeah, I finally figured out why I can't find the button for the object scanner. It turns out that you actually have to go and build it, which is right here. So we are going to need to get some more reinforced iron plates. But with that, we'll be able to unlock this overclock production, which is pretty nice. We don't really need it like, like a lot because um, we haven't even begun using our second miner yet. But it's still kind of nice to have, um, especially because the more buildings that we have, the more energy, which the power slugs also make these consume more energy. Uh, however, I think it's the efficiency is better. So, oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I showed this in the last episode. Wait. Oh, I messed this up. I need a smelter first. Oops. Okay, we definitely need to get a smelter down on this. Um, and then our next objective is going to be getting... So I started manually crafting this biofuel, and I'll tell you what, it takes forever. So I'm going to get a constructor down, probably right next to these, so that they can start um, producing biofuel. And then it'd be really nice if we could have something to place them inside. Which I've never actually tried. Maybe you can. Like, do you think we could place a storage container just directly into one of these? Because that would be awesome. I'm actually... I'm actually going to try that as well. But let's go ahead and get our copper set up. We have nothing being made right now, so that is not good. Okay, so we finally got this set up correctly. Uh, let's get power to this. Send it to that pole. And now... Actually, what I want to do now we there we go. So now we have copper ingots being made. I do want to correct this though. So let's get rid of this pole uh, because we want to have enough space for whatever we place next. So see how this takes up four, and then if we do that, now we actually have space for other stuff. So let's go ahead and connect it back up. There we go, and now we have wire being made and then the wire is going here splitting off and we have some wire storage and then on top of that we have cables being made and we'll have actually we do want to make some cable storage these things produce very fast both of them do so it's always good to have storage especially as we're moving into like these more advanced recipes we are going to need so many materials that it'll be good to get this started as soon as we can so let's get this place down, get this hooked up, and bam, there we go. So we're going to have a lot of storage, actually. Eventually, these storage containers will be removed or maybe split off uh, because we're going to have a lot more stuff. And I just realized we're kind of running out of space to move this way, but it should be okay for now, especially because we can start moving off down this way if we have to. But now we have copper being made, so that's good. Uh, let's get our setup that we need for these. We have biomass. Yeah, so we still have biomass being used in these, which is no bueno. So let's get a storage container placed, like, right here, I guess. And then I can place the biomass into here. Let's get a constructor, if we have enough for it, which we don't. So let's add that. 
And then I really want to see, it'd be so cool if we could connect a conveyor belt into these. I really don't think it'll let us, but that would be really nice. But yeah, let's get the materials that we need. Okay, so I was making some um, items, and it looks like... Oh, we ran out of fuel, okay. I was like, did we actually go past our capacity? That's crazy. But no, it's just... We ran out of biomass. It's consuming a lot faster. This is actually insane. Look how fast that's going. These biomass are like hard to get, so we definitely want that fuel. So let's get this down, and then let's get our constructor down. Which we'll place like this, I think. Yeah, we'll place just like that. And then I think this is enough distance still to where we don't need, like, um, too steep. Okay. Let's see if we can build the these conveyor lifts. So I think it only goes up? That is so odd. Okay. Interesting. I think you might be able to place it down, like, the other way. But I think there's not enough distance here. I did not realize how big those were. So let's let's just destroy this and then build our constructor, I guess, like, more down over here. Because it's, it's, like, too steep of an angle. So if I place it like this, maybe that'll work. And then let's get this. And then if we build it, like... Here, and then like that. Yeah, there we go. And then if we build this, like this, let's see if I can attach it to anything. So if I do this, um, nope, okay, you cannot. Dang it. I wish that you could. Let's go ahead and destroy this. And we'll just go ahead and put a storage container right here. And I'll just go ahead and refill these whenever I need. So, let's get this. And then put it like so. So yeah, we are completely blocking ourselves off here if we want to expand. But that's okay. We will maneuver everything around the way that we need. So that's done. Let's get the recipe here for solid biofuel. And then let's get energy hooked up to it, which this has three out of four, so let's get another power pull down. And where is it? There it is. Get that place. And now, once we have our biomass place, which we have a very large amount of, it should start working. There we go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like hay. There it is, and it needs eight of them. Okay, and it's a four second production. This seems very slow, which it kind of is, but for the consumption, this is going to like catch up very fast. So if we just collect these ourselves. We can go ahead and already replace some of these because these are like consuming very fast. So we'll do that. And that's already still very fast. Um, but we will unlock better stuff later. I think eventually we get coal, which will make these processes so much better. But even now, I mean, look how much we have. It should be okay for the time that we need. So it shouldn't be too bad. But for now, we definitely want to get this foundation of solid fuel down. Let's just slowly fill these up. I'm going to wait a bit just so I can get these um, solidified. And then I think the next thing we want to do is build this scanner, which actually we might already have. Yeah, we need to get more iron plates and more screws. It kind of sucks with uh, the equipment workshop. You can't add these like to the side. So you just kind of have to remember what you need. But that's going to take two seconds to make. So let's go ahead and get those materials and get this biofuel figured out. Okay, here we are. So now we can get our object scanner and we can see what kind of cool objects we can get. I'm still trying to keep up on this biofuel. I think we have a decent amount in there now. I don't really know what the stacks are of these. I would assume it's like 100 maybe or maybe like 200. These stack up to 200, this stack up to 500. So 
I would assume these have a smaller stack, but with how slow that is, 100 should last a decent amount of time. We'll just go ahead and keep feeding normal biomass into these guys, which it's actually kind of running low. But um, yeah, let's see what, how to use this object scanner. So uh, there's no new button. Oh, that's right. I just put it in our hands. There we go. Okay, berry. Oh, here we go. Power slug. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So it wants us to run this way. Oh, it's going to send us into that danger area, but... Oh, well. I want to see what we can find. Okay, it's getting bigger. Oh, it might be on this hill. I bet you it's up here. Just disappeared. Never mind, it's this way. Wait, did a new one spawn? I'm kind of scared of going down there again, because that's probably a level 2. But it's off that way, so we got to head this way. I think it's probably going to send us into this forest... Oh, and we actually have the screws that we need, so we can go explore that one thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. There's a slug, like, really... It was just going off. What? Um, this way. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I want to come over here first so we can open up this container that we left over here. Yeah, this thing. Let's see what we can find inside of it. There we go. A hard drive. A hard drive with fix it data. Analyze it in the MAM to salvage its contents. Okay. Data awesome. on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Wait, there was definitely. There was definitely a slug. Okay, so now it's scanning this way. So before we scanned and it faced that way, and now we're getting nothing, so I think there's one like really close. Why does it scan right here? Oh, I can see it from here. You see that? It's up there. Um, I don't think we can get up there right now unless we build a bunch of ramps. So, let's see if we can find an easy way of getting up there. It looks like this whole thing is a cliff. But we might get lucky. Let's go around this way. Sometimes there's like ramps so that you can walk. Yeah, it's one of those smaller enemies. Ooh, it's over here. Okay, we gotta go quick on this. I think there's a big enemy around here. Let's collect this Mercer Sphere. And then let's get out of here. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens I bet you we could find one that's easier to get to. That one is very... very high. Let's look around. So this is the place that we were at before. There's our base. It's giving that signal again. I think there's a slug, like, stuck to this. There's gotta be, right? I mean, there's that one up there that's going off crazy. When I walk this way, it was giving something. Hold on. Right there. Oh, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It's showing as if one is on here, I think, but I'm not seeing it. So I think this might just be the same slug that it's scanning for. Let's head back or just kind of further in a different spot and see if we can find a different slug. I know we do have ramps, but like uh, those ramps, I don't think I have a lot of... No, I don't have a lot of concrete and they take a lot of concrete. So let's go this way and see if we can find one. Okay, so I'm like right next to the base, and I got a new scan. I should probably head back and get some concrete though, because I bet you this one's going to be the same. Yep. They're always in a weird, like, hard-to-get-to spot. 
which is, in this case, this one. I don't think there's any good way of getting up this either. Ooh, ooh, I was almost there. This thing just keeps blocking me. Okay, there we go. So, there's really no good way of going about it. I don't think there's any, yeah, okay. Let's just see what we can construct. Because, who knows, maybe we do have enough. We need five. So yeah, five for each. We can definitely get up there. Let's build our first foundation, like here. And then there. Okay, so we're getting close. We just gotta get a bunch of concrete. So I'll be right back in this place once I have a bunch. Okay, we're back. So now we should be able to... You know what? I was just thinking. Are these the sharpest? Okay, they are. So yeah, we want to keep building these. Hopefully, these will do the job. Either way, we can go sideways if we need to. Looks like we're going to. Do that. Like that. And there it is. Perfect. Okay. So now we have a blue power slug. And you get materials back for these, so if I just destroy them, then it all works out. And we could probably actually... I did not realize these actually work really well, so... Um, I think we should go back to that other power slug and get that one as well. So then we'll have two power shards. Let's do that. And that. Okay, perfect. And so now we have... Yeah, we have lots of concrete. Perfect, okay. So let's head back. And... Oh, also, I want to pick up some more wood while we're out. Alright, we're back. I just wanted to show this guy, for some reason, is climbing onto my craft bench. So weird. Yeah, these guys are harmless. I can kill them. Uh, but they're harmless, so I don't really mess around with them. But yeah, we collected, honestly, too many leaves <laughs> while we were out. Uh, but I forgot, we were going to make the slug thing, weren't we? Okay, let's go here. Oh no, do we need... We have what we need, don't we? Oh, we need to craft it, that's right. Okay, so let's go to the craft bench. Hopefully this guy isn't too loud for you guys. Sometimes they can be really loud. Let's build that. Then go here. Power slugs. Bam. Oh, I see. So you have to use one for research, so we can't even get to use one yet. But now we have overclocking, so if I go here and I put a slug in, I'll be able to up it to 150. And then also I could go to 200 and 250. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, these can... So right now they're giving out 60 per minute. Later on they can give... Let's see, so 200, that'd be 120. So like 150. 150 per minute is insane. Um, but yeah, so I, I was thinking about where I want to use the next one, and I think we'll use it on this. Because right now it's not keeping up. It's 15 per minute, but... Uh, no, it's not this. It's this. Oh no, that makes 99. So yeah, it is this one. Yeah, this thing's just not keeping up. It's making them very slow. Which, it's still fine. Like, we're still getting a decent amount, but in the future, we're gonna need a lot more. And I just want to get a good saving started. And right now, it's going decently slow, so that's definitely where we're gonna put it. Let's go ahead and go to that cliff and see if we can get that power slug. Okay, so I think we want to build the ramps as early as we can. So let's go here and then start here, I guess, because this is very tall, so you're going to want to get some good distance. Let's go here and get it started. Why is it doing this? Hold on. There we go. Bam. Bam. If you hold it just the right place, you can just keep placing them. And just to make sure I don't fall off, we'll place that one. And there we go. Oh, 
Look at this. We have pure coal right here. I would assume... Wait, is this a node? Yeah, it is. We found a coal node. Oh, this is awesome. I think we unlocked... Wait, could we always look for coal? Iron, Caterium... No, we, we couldn't. Wait, so then... Can I place a miner on this? Wait, this is OP. Hold on, let me kill this thing. Yeah, these guys like to run away. There we go, got some more stuff. Okay, let's see if we can place a miner on this thing. Because this is going to be game-changing. Yeah, you can. Oh, this is game-changing. What? <laughs> and the base is right there. This is such a lucky find. Wow. Okay. Wow. So all that biomass stuff we've been doing, just don't need it. Just don't need it at all. And we'll just leave these ramps here. And we can place our conveyor right on it. This is so nice. We're going to have unlimited power. Wow. Okay. Coal is actually, though, biofuel is, like, longer lasting than coal. Because I think I unlocked coal in the last time I played. So it's not, like, the greatest resource. But, hey, we can overclock it if we need to. So this is going to, like, this is going to be game-changing right here. Okay, let's go see if we can find that, that slug, and then we're going to get this set up immediately, actually. Although that biofuel I might still use. And also, um, even though we can use coal, we still have to place it, so it might not be the greatest choice. We'll, we'll see how, how fast it gets consumed, because that's going to be very important. Here we go. Okay. So, it was on this cliff. We were up here. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's so nice to find. Even if we don't end up using it immediately, like, it's always good to have that backup. So, let's go back and... Well, I kind of want to explore the rest of this cliff. These cliffs always have interesting things on them. Mainly because they're just hard to get to. So, let's see if there's something else. But we already found two W's on this one cliff, so... Alright, nope. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, let's head back. Okay, so let's get this um, power shard made. And let's go see it in action. So we're going to place our first one over here. And we want it to be on this thing right here. Yep, okay. So now if we put our power slug in... It's making 30 per minute, and then if we do this, it's making 45 per minute. So now we have 33% increase in the amount of production we're making, which this is going to start filling up a lot more, and hopefully this is going to get what it needs a lot faster. There we go, that's not too bad. Either way, we're already making like a lot of cables, so I'm not too worried. 179 is plenty for now, but these hub upgrades, like, well, I'm trying to prepare for them because, I mean, there's just going to be like mass upgrades. Although we haven't unlocked, it seems, we need the space elevator, which actually, I forgot that we can still build that. Yeah, so actually, that's not too bad. We do need a lot of... Um, wire. However, we will do that in the next episode. I mean, that's that's not that bad. I mean, it's quite a bit, but we do want to get these upgrades finished, though. Uh, so let's look at what we have. We have logistics, resource. Yeah. So all of these. Oh, we're gonna need rotors. So we're gonna need to unlock the part assembly very soon. It looks like these two we can unlock with normal materials. So let's get, let's get logistics down, see what we can put in there. Actually, we'll do this later. But yeah, we're, we want to keep production fast just for that. So yeah, this is definitely going to be helpful. And I might add another smelter just so we can get more of these in. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so we're definitely gonna need that coal. Uh, let's see. So these, 2.67. And the coal is... Oh, you can't use it. All right, well, there you have it. So yeah, it's useless right now. Um, it's used as fuel for vehicles and coal generators. So we actually can't even use it right now. Let's get this started back up. So I'm glad that I kept collecting stuff. Uh, I actually still need to go uh, make a bunch of biomass, but that's good that we now, like that coal node is so close to the house. It's right there, you can see it. So that's gonna be very nice. I guess what we might wanna do now is look at getting enough for the space elevator and also these upgrades. So yeah, let's just go ahead and place what we need then. We need this. Oh, we need 50? 50 reinforced iron plates. Jeez. So we need 300 rods, plenty of iron plates, but we got those. So now we just need a few more rods and a lot of reinforced iron plates, which the reinforced iron plates need a bunch of screws and iron plates. Okay, I think we can do that. It's going to take a while to just manually um, craft all of those, but it shouldn't take too long. Now we have a bunch of screws. And then what else did we need? Oh, iron rods. We can get a stack of these as well. It's always good to just go around as you're playing and collect the basic materials just because there's so many little things that you have to craft as you go that it's good to just have those in your inventory already. But anyways, I'm going to sit here and craft all of these iron plates or reinforced and a bunch of biofuel. Okay, so we finally made a bunch of reinforced iron plates and we also we're able to get this thing almost filled up full and we converted all of our biomass burners into solid fuel so that's good oh yeah let's go over here and get this put in and this put in and here we go now we can get logistics mk2 it's funny because we've already unlocked milestone reached the second level of conveyor, of conveyor belts. belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible there it to goes. encourage additional verticality conveyor but we built like barely anything variant. i've just handcrafted a lot of stuff <laughs> but we will get more stuff set up it's just um the power consumption is kind of scaring me so it's just kind of worrying me i know we can get more and we are definitely going to need to get reinforced iron plates uh, as an auto production very soon so I think we will set up something in a bit but I mean for now I mean, look at this we're producing an okay amount this actually is kind of slow but uh yeah that's definitely gonna have to be next video we got most of these t milestones done we got tier one finished we finally got this done got this big one done so now we just need these few which are already almost done. However, we are gonna save these for the next video. Um, if you guys liked the video, then please hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, then please leave a comment. And of course, if you guys wanna see a bit more videos like this, then please hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in episode five.